Welcome to Hub City Homestead. My name is Ruth. We're excited today. We're going to plant seeds. So I was introduced to the MI Gardener through Justin Rhodes. I joined the Abundant Permaculture Group and he, the, they sent out seeds to get us started on our on a 90 day garden. And so I was sent MI Gardener lettuce, spinach, kale. Now, I haven't been able to plant these yet and it's getting too late for some of these colder weather items. And so, but I'm like, I'm excited to start gardening. So I got on the MI Gardener and started ordering some seeds, whatever I wanted that he actually had. The seeds are crazy this year. People want to garden again. They want to be in charge of their own food. And it's wonderful. And it's exciting. And so, and I'm the same way. I want to do it too. So I ordered some seeds. Um, these are the ones that I'm not going to be able to plant yet. So like peppers. I'm, I'm going to start those next year. Things like cilantro, I can do in pots. So I'm going to plan on doing some of those in pots. I've got, I got, the, I'm really fascinated by this strawberry spinach. Uh, I have never heard of it before. So next summer we're going to try it. Next spring we're going to try this as well. It's the, it's one of those edible plants where everything is edible, like the leaves. And then there's these little berries on it. So I'm really excited to try that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the dill. I love dill, so I'm going to plant some dill this year, uh, probably in some pots, and do a little bit of that. And then uh, I've got this cute piccolino basil, and it's like this little teeny plant, little pot. So this one I'm also going to do in pots and get my herb garden started. Uh, I'm really excited about that. For In my chicken moat garden, I'm planning on doing like an herb wall so that I can have... A, an, an herb garden through the season and I want to learn how to dry herbs and prepare them so that I have them all through the winter and have fresh herbs, fresh dried herbs right from my own garden and that's exciting to me. But this year we are going to do jack-o-lantern pumpkins. We all, I've done these, I've done jack-o'-lantern pumpkins before, and they are so perfect for carving pumpkins in October, and we're just in time to be able to have them ready in time for Halloween. Uh, these will be done about, they should be, according to the back, they'll be mature in 110 days. That puts us right about the middle of September, middle to end of September, which means we should have some really good carving pumpkins right in for October. Uh, my neighbor, one of my neighbors, introduced me to parsnips. She asked me, do you want some carrots and parsnips? And I'm like, well, I like carrots, but I've never had parsnips before. She says, if I teach you how to cook them, will you take them and eat them? And I'm like, sure. And so she told me how to cook them. And they are so wonderful. Uh, me and my kids have decided that they're kind of, the flavor's kind of, it, it is a nutty flavor. That's how people will will describe it as a nutty flavor. But we've decided it's kind of a mix between carrots and squash. It's, it's a, it's a, they have a really wonderful flavor when they're cooked correctly. And then my daughter, she loves to bake. And this last year she did pumpkin pies. And she's like, I'd like to do pumpkin pies from an actual pumpkin. So on the MI Gardener, they have the sugar pie pumpkin. And so we're going to grow a bunch of sugar pie pumpkins. And I'm going to see if my daughter can make pumpkin pie from actual grown from our garden pumpkins. And then I love sunflowers. And I wanted to plant some pretty sunflowers, and I also want to plant some sunflowers that will produce seeds. Now, these are the only sunflowers that were available that were on my wish list, and only one of them produces edible seeds, and they're kind of small. So it's more likely I'll feed those to my chickens than, than that my family would eat them. Eventually, I'll be able to get the big ones where I can harvest the seeds and be able to uh, continue collecting seeds and plant them. But this year, we're going to do... A velvet queen sunflower 
And these have the edible seeds. And I'll probably save, I will definitely save some of the seeds from some of these flowers, but then the, the rest of them I will be feeding to my chickens because they love sunflower seeds. And then this one is just for being pretty. It's called the Autumn Beauty Sunflower. So we're gonna plant, plant these out in front of the house, see if we can add some color to the front of our house. Um, the flowers, it says, they 90 days until maturity, so I don't expect to see flowers really till August, but we can get some beautiful plants coming up um, all summer long, and, and then we'll have beautiful fall flowers. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, and then the last thing we're going to do with our parsnip, i got to do a raised bed for these and the parsnips because our soil here is terrible. It's hard, it's clay, it's rocky. And so for the parsnip and my little carrots, we're going to create a container garden. And I will do a video about that when we get, when we get that done. So it'll be interesting to try these out. These ones take 130 days, so I need to get these in so that they're done by October. And then I'll have them for, for like Thanksgiving. Great for Thanksgiving. And then these, these are the little short stubby carrots. They get five to eight inches long um, and about two and a half inches wide. And uh, they have really great strong flavor. And, it, and these take 70 days to maturity. I know that uh, carrots, well, no, they're just, a, they're a root. They're a root vegetables, so um, so we'll see. We'll get we'll get a container for them, and we'll get them planted in a container, and we'll see what we can do. It'll be it's gonna be a lot of fun to try those out. So I'm really excited. My kids are excited to to get some garden in today. So we will get out. We'll start gardening. We've got a bit of a cloudy day, so that's good because it's supposed to be warm, but we've got some clouds, and that means it'll stay a little bit cooler, and that makes for better gardening, I think. So thank you for joining us. Enjoy us and this planting. And we will go through each of these things as we plant them, show you where we're going to grow them. And then it'll be a great addition to our homestead tour, our bi-weekly homestead tour. And I'm really excited about that. So we're going to start with our Autumn Beauty sunflowers and our Velvet Queen sunflowers. You got it? Watch out for the step. There you go. Make sure it gets really good all through there. Keep going. Yeah, and then it's Kaylee's turn. Hang on. Let me get over here.
Are you out of water? Okay, go fill it up again. It could. I don't know that it will. Okay, all the way to the end right here, next to these rocks. Yeah. There we go. Okay, now walk it all the way back and just run the water all the way back along the line. Well, it's all gone. Okay, all gone. So we hope you're enjoying this video. We just want to take a minute and ask a question. What three things do you like to plant in your garden? Or what three things do you wish you could plant in your garden? I'm always looking for great ideas. I'd like to hear what your favorites are. Um, I am in a zone 6A. Uh, you can look up what zone you're in. So if you're in a similar zone, I'd really love to hear what you what you like to plant. I would, but I would I want to hear everybody's comments on the things that you like to plant because it's amazing what you can plant in just about every area. It's really great. Uh, and then also, if you're enjoying this video and you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. It helps us out immensely. And and hit the icon so that you can receive notifications when we post. My goal is to be posting every Tuesday, Friday, and to have a video up on Sunday as well. We're having so much fun with our homestead. My kids are loving it, I'm loving it, and my ultimate goal is to be doing this full-time with my husband, and we're really excited to have you here with us. Find us on Facebook and Instagram, Patreon, and Teespring.com. Thank you for watching this video. I know we didn't get to the tomatoes and the the pumpkin seeds um, yet, so there will be another video with that. We're gonna get those the, our uh, fencing up so that we can run the tomatoes and the and the squash over the fencing. I just I want to make sure that I can get this to you guys to see how our garden is doing. Uh, I have to tell a funny story and I'm, I'm like kicking myself because I missed out on a really funny video. But we planted our sunflower seeds all in a row and we walked out a couple hours later and our two roosters that we, we pull out of our run because they torment all the hens were out dust bathing in my newly turned sunflower earth. So we had to replant a couple spots. So funny chickens. They make me smile. Anyway, thank you for joining us today. We hope that you'll subscribe and like this video and feel free to share it with a friend. And thank you for joining us. We really do appreciate it. Yeah. Hi. How are you little monsters doing? Yeah. <laughs>